Ruben's train to Turkey. Did I do that right? That's fine. Ruben's train to Turkey. <laughs> What's going on there? Those of you who are with me on the Power of Claw DVD will have noticed, hopefully, that I am in high five tuning. Oh, by the way, this guitar is a very nice old 1890s Washburn. It's the mini Pearl model. And I'm in high five tuning, which means I took my fifth string off, my low bass fifth string there, second low bass fifth string, and I replaced it with a high first string. So you get this lovely... Very cool technique, not just for claw hammer, it works for finger picking or flat picking, so if you've got a spare guitar lying around your house, high five it. The most important thing I can tell you about what I just did is I was using claw hammer technique throughout almost the whole thing, claw hammer or some very close derivation of it, so I got the basic bum ditty going, and once you get that technique in your blood, you can start making music with it. it is. Now the next thing I did was that is a four bass technique, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but as we saw on the uh, Power of Claw, you can change that into a seven. Three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, two. What I did just now on Ruben's Train to Turkey was I did something that I learned a couple weeks ago, totally fun. I want you to learn it too. Uh, I did a 25. It sounds weird. 
when you say it 25, it sounds complicated, but all it is is which as far as I've been able to ascertain adds up to 25. I'm going to be very embarrassed if I'm wrong about that. Finally, I did the claw monics thing, which is claw hammer harmonics. You take the right hand pattern, you keep the groove going, but you slowly stretch your hand out to where you go from the bum ditty to this. Claw monics. That's Ruben's train to Turkey. Have at it. And it's oh lordy me, it's oh lordy mine. I'm going where the sunny rain don't shine. 